Hello! So if you've watched what we've got in our gusto box, let's get down here, then um, I'm going to try and make this, the Chinese pork rice. So what I've got is I've got ready what it says I need. Um, I've got basmati, cucumber, rice vinegar, garlic, ginger, hoisin, honey, soy sauce, chilli flakes, five spice, spring onions and the mints. Which is over here. Pork mints. So, first thing I'm going to do is read the instructions. And it says to add the rice salt to a pot. Right, so basically I'm going to boil the rice. So I can do, I can boil rice, so I'll do that. It says to use a pot with a lid, barbecue, whatever. Whatever I've got going in the kitchen. I do. So I'm gonna bring that to the boil. And I will put a bit of salt in. And um, yeah. I'm gonna put the rice in now and that's the first thing done. You will hear the babies, so sorry. So the good thing about this is it's all already measured. Apparently this will feed four people. So for us that's me, James, Martina and the babies count as one person because they don't eat as much as us. Adults. Remember the recycling? Apparently all the packaging is recyclable. Next I'm going to peel the cucumber. Now it says to use a vegetable peeler. I don't know what one of those is, so I think it's a potato peeler. This will peel potatoes. So I'm sure it will peel my cucumber. It's not been used this one yet, so a bit funky. Mommy. Yes, baby. Mommy. Yeah. This is cucumber. Yeah. This is cucumber. Yeah. This is cucumber. Yeah. Can you show them, Judah? Mummy is going to peel the cucumbers, that's all right with you, to form ribbons. <laughs> so that is going to pickle in the rice vinegar. to turn that through so let that go through there and I'm gonna oh yeah it's all toughening up and I'm gonna um, set that aside and chop the cucumber I should have been chopping Got some ribbons and some chopping. Okay, so I'm going to peel and finally grate the garlic and ginger. So it says to finally grate the ginger and garlic, so I'm going to put them in my magic bullet because I'm lazy and that's why I bought it. So it goes in the flat blade not the cross blade and the short one and we're going to whiz it. Or not. Maybe the other blade. That's the one I used for coffee. I thought that would be the one that would grind it small. Maybe not. Cross blade. Yes, cross blade. Make sure it's all. So yeah, I'd say that's class is finally grated. What do you reckon? Baby spoons are good for getting all of the stuff out. Hi, Sin. 
Eat them, please leave the recycling alone. Baby girl. Unfortunately, if you see this has gluten in, so I won't be able to put this sauce on Martina's, which sucks. But she'll be able to have all the rest of the stuff. I thought I'd pick the most gluten free friendly recipe. Put the hoist in. Has gluten in. I would never, ever cook something this adventurous normally. Never. I couldn't be bothered with all the measurements. So having it all ready measured and packaged is so much easier. Even if I, ah, even if I was to follow a recipe. I just thought, like, oh, forget that, too much stuff in that. I'll just leave that out and make it my own and then it just tastes like everything else I make. Right, that's all the ingredients in that. And I'll just stir it. Mix well. Right. Half a teaspoon of vegetable oil to a large frying pan on a medium high heat. Once high, add the garlic, ginger, five spice, chili flakes. Okay, add the pork mince. So when I add, once I've cooked, before I add this sauce, I'm going to section some off for Martina because she won't be able to have it with the sauce, but she'll be able to have all the spices. So obviously we don't want it to be too boring for her. Thank you. <laughs> Put all the ginger and garlic in there, and then in there is also going baby touch Is also going the chili flakes. Ooh, so that's going to be all hot, and the five spices. I want Again, we've got double. The portion because it's for four people, so everything's twice. Ah! We don't want the plastic in there. So we're just gonna stir all that together, turn the heat down. From the farm. I'm not used to getting my meat. And packets like this. So yeah, it's a bit gross. You don't have to watch this bit. Nobody likes seeing raw meat unless you're a butcher and you like it. Not me. Right. So I've now finished that bit, and I'm at the point where I need to add in the hoisin marinade. So I am cooking this through a little bit better than normal, so I can take some out for Martina. And I just need a little pan. Separate some. Yep. And I will carry on with this as normal and then add everything into the same as I would. So this is going in. The marinade. I'm just going to put a bit of honey in yours so you've got some flavour. If you can hear my child singing, he's not weird, he's singing um, a song by Flight of the Concords called Robots. And in it they say the humans are dead, so if you can hear him saying the humans are dead, it's not because he's evil, 
it's because he's singing a song. And then it's gonna get added in. So some Martina. She's only little but she likes a lot, so. And then gosh. This this would like feed Isis and Shayla too. Some for us. Some for Martina. And then some cucumber. Martina. Some for us. There's a lot. I'm not going to put all of that in because there's a lot of cucumber. Alright, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. A lot of food, actually. <laughs> Look like there won't be much, but there is. Yeah. 